Hello everyone, I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. Welcome to Four Cards and Friends. Tonight we're going to pair up a couple, kind of an odd combo, but I actually have some leftover designer series paper, the Gather Together, from, remember from Thanksgiving, and I've got a hair in my mouth, <laughs> but hair. Um, and I just thought, you know, it's U.S. Thanksgiving tomorrow. Um, let's find another way to bring out that gather together paper, but kind of put a Christmas slant on it. So we're going to use that paper. We're also going to use Yummy Christmas, which is a fun little stamp set that has the gingerbread house and kind of the, the bubbly uh, different images, which is fun. And it also comes with dies, which I'll show you. And I'm going to have a huge surprise at the end of what I do to all the cards just to kind of take them over the level. You know, your card can go to here, but really, it can go to here, right? So it's going to be an exciting night. We're going to make four cards tonight. It's going Hall. <laughs> Anyways, now I don't know remember where I was, but yes, the end, the finale is going to be fun, a fun little extra. So I see lots of people popping on, which is absolutely wonderful, and I love that they're saying hello, and we're going to chit chat lots all through the evening, and this is a great place to craft and have wonderful friendships. So let's see who do we have here so far. Lisa Kay all the way from Manitoba and Donna and Holly and Sue, Kathy, Lois. You got your happy mail yesterday. Yay! Minnesota. Mm -hmm. You got seven inches last night. Holy, that's a lot. Wowzers. And Roz is on tonight too. Nice to see everybody. So yeah, make sure you do lots of commenting and feel free to share. That always helps my little business for sure. So uh, share it with your crafty friends, especially if they live in Canada. <laughs> and um, that will be a big help. Hi, Karma. Nice to see you. Did you sprinkle any more sprinkles all over the, all over the table? <laughs> Hi, Catherine. Nice to see you again. Yes. So lots of excitement tonight, I tell you. All right. Let's just, should we just get to it? I think we should. Now let me see if I can get all this doo -doo -doo set up. And this one, and this one, and this one. I think we're golden. Okay, so keep commenting, keep sharing. That is what I love to see. So yummy Christmas tonight with the dies. So let me just show you in the catalog, this is the holiday catalog, which only goes till January 2nd. So if there's something in here you absolutely love, you need to snag it because um, soon it's going to be over. So Yummy Christmas is on page 23. And the fun part is that it coordinates with another stamp set's dies. So over if you go into your annual catalog on page 192, it matches with the cuckoo clock dies, as you can see there. So you're, are you wondering what the cuckoo clock, die, or cuckoo clock looks like? So let me show you. On page 29, here it is down here. And I know Lisa Harden has done a beautiful job of showing kind of this stamp set and a fun way to make the um, neat little flappy, flappy idea. So if you haven't seen that, you need to go back in her videos and uh, check that out because it was pretty neat how she made the sentiment go up and down. You love this gingerbread house. I know, right? It's so much fun to color. It's one of those sets that just is calm. Don't remind Lisa. Oh, <laughs> about your sparkle situation. <laughs> uh, thanks, Sue, for, for sharing. I appreciate that. So this is a neat kind of set, and it's so fun that these kind of images match with the dies that go with this set. So that's featured tonight. Also, 
if you're gonna, let's see. Why did I have this? We are gonna pair up with the Gather Together Designer Series paper. I know, odd, I'm telling you, but it works. So here it is on page 48 of the um, holiday catalog. And you know, it is very um, browns, earthy tones, but it kind of goes with the little gingerbreads, little gingerbread man, right? So I'll show you how that works. Lastly, let me show you where that stamp and spritzer, the spritzers are. They are on page 180 of the annual catalog. And if you don't have these things yet, they're, they're a neat thing to have. Um, I often use them. I just put plain water in them. If I have an embossing folder that I lost you and had to reboot, uh oh. I think that might have been when uh, the phone call phone call came through. Sorry about that. But I often put water, just plain water in them because sometimes with the embossing folders, they have quite a bit of texture to them. And if you don't kind of miss the paper first, they'll tear, they'll rip when they go through. So that is a handy tool. I also have one in my purse with just, we're a, we're a young living family. And so I have just a bit of thieves hand soap in the bottom and then I fill up the rest with um, water. And you know, I, I don't love to use public soap, I guess. I don't know what's in it, right? And so this way you just grab it out of your purse, psh, psh, squirt it on and you, you're good to go with your own hand soap, which I love. And um, also if you want a little fragrance, I know it's taboo nowadays, but if you just put a little bit, uh, we use the oils, of course, so if you just put a little oil in there and and there you go, now you have yourself a little perfume. And uh, lastly, I will show you at the end how you can use this in a fun, fun way. Hi, Amy. You received your happy mail too. Awesome. No problem. I'm glad you got it. So we're going to use that and we're also going to use the shimmer paint. Lots of fun. Okay. On we go to do some create. Actually, let, let me show you some cards that I made using this stamp set that kind of didn't make the cut for tonight. But I still like their ideas. Now, um, this was actually going to be for a, a class. And so the plan was to actually um, purchase the um, old olive stamp and blends and the real red stamp and blends and the crumb cake. And so that's why everything here is going to be red and green just because I was in hopes of that, but it didn't go through. So we're just gonna play with them tonight. So that's why everything's red and green in these examples. But do you see the little Wink of Stella? Hopefully, there, see that? Like my Wink of Stella. So that was just a fun little thing. Um, this little guy, as I will show you later on, is actually in the gingerbread house, but I just cut him out. Cut him out and put him where you want him. So that was kind of fun. Another one, use your little word sayings as background stamps. Makes it kind of, you know, whimsy. And of course I flicked on the, I think I did the um, basic black and old olive flicks there. And this is actually the ribbon from kind of the um, uh, Halloween set or Halloween suite, I guess. And, uh, but it just kind of all went. So tis the yummy season. I've been busy the past, past couple days making cards to send to our troops. I saw that. You're awesome. That, you made quite the load, which is amazing. So good for you. High five to you. Uh, hi, Megan. Hi, Melissa and Sandy. Hello, hello. And this is one of my favorites. How simple, but how cute. So in the set, they have this long little gingerbready piece, which I embossed in white. And then of course I did the little trees, I colored them up and added the wink of Stella, which you just can't see on the camera, but it's on all the white portions just to make that snow sparkle on those trees. So there are some examples, but let's go on to our cards that we're gonna make tonight. So this was one of them. Now, of course, I'm not going to make it exactly as is. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Thanks, Holly. I did that earlier in the month. I feel so nice to be able to send goodie packages and cards for our soldiers. That's absolutely wonderful. 
Hi Chrissy. Good evening. So this one, the designer series paper is from 12 Tidings I used and of course I stamped that little peppermint image all over and um, colored in this little piece. This is from that ornate frames die. I tell ya, you need to get that if you don't have that. A couple local ladies are collecting cards for our troops. That's really neat. Thanks Debbie for sharing. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And so ornate frames, gotta get it. I tell ya, isn't it cute? And it was so simple. And then this little piece of ribbon across. But of course tonight I'm gonna change it up. And um, I'm going to use be using the paper from that gather together sweet so let's see what we can do with this here watching from Michigan that's awesome okay so here we go I've got a piece of pretty peacock for our card base and I have a piece of gray granite the second layer to go over top I have does this look familiar <laughs> a little piece of designer series paper that's just going to go on the bottom. Let's show the original here while we work so you can see how this is going to kind of go together. Okay, I think we can start uh, assembling here. I am so happy to get back to snail tape. <laughs> can I say that? <gasps> I used it for the last two days to quickly make up my Christmas cards because I knew that if I used snail tape, I was going to go through tons. <laughs> so I will say that a perk of the liquid glue is that it definitely goes so much further. So it has its merits, but I tell you, you should have seen my, well, I still have, look it, <laughs> I still have glue on my hands. It's not my favorite. <laughs> love those colors together awesome good evening so happy to see you I love the trees my husband said I received mail from you yes thank you so much I can't wait to get home to open it feels like forever since I've been home oh I bet hey <coughs> pardon me I hope my voice isn't petering out already here goodness got a long way to go okay so here's our first layer our next little oh and you know what I forgot already shouldn't have done that okay let's see we'll attempt to pull it up if it's not gonna go willingly we all seen my um, trick for getting it off it's a dental floss so if it's really stuck and it's starting to tear stop you can shimmy the dental floss underneath it and it comes off, nothing's torn, nothing's warped, it works perfect. But I forgot to add the bow, or the ribbon. So let's go this way. Let's go like this, add this to the bottom, and I'm going to actually put this ribbon across. That's what I was kind of, I can't really tuck, you can tuck the ribbon um, in afterwards, but it does make it more difficult. <laughs> Have you received any happy mail? Uh, no, no, not. My latest one was from Carla with the cow. And I showed that the other day. And that's that's been it for a while. So oh, is there something in the mail I should be watching for? So there we go. Now I'm actually gonna stamp, instead of this gingerbread house, I'm going to stamp the treats. And I'm going to use Pretty Peacock ink. We're going to just kind of jazz this up and, and change this just a tad. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to do four. If they'll fit. Tree images. close but they'll do they're kind of whimsy so if you don't you know if it doesn't get on there perfect it's okay next I'm going to actually stamp with the black see here's gonna be our problem here now it has glue all over it let's just flip it over okay flip it over and we're gonna actually stamp with memento black Come on. Stamp those 
those trees three times next week hopefully oh i'm excited i love happy mail i love sending it out and i absolutely love receiving it it's always one of those instant instant smiles right you have such fantastic tips <laughs> all from you know the chaos that has ensued and i have to come up with a way to fix <laughs> You know, mistakes, you learn from your mistakes. I must say that. Okay, let's see. What color should we use with, oh, you know, you know how we did that bird ballad and we used Poppy Parade and the Pretty Peacock? That was such a stunning um, combo. Let's do that again. Okay, so I'm gonna get out my uh, Poppy Parade blends. Not sure if it's going to show through too much the um, dark versus the light, but we'll go with it. So how's everyone crafting lately? Everyone busy, busy, busy with Christmas cards? Or are you working on a different project? I got all my customer Christmas cards done. I'm so excited. So excited to send them. Kevin's like, oh my goodness, and you're gonna send each one in the mail? I'm like, yes I am. It's like, doesn't it cost like 50 cents <laughs> to mail to mail a card? I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna tell them it's 90 cents. <laughs> like, this is my business. Leave like, why don't you just send an e-card? I'm like, listen, um, this is my business for one. Number two, you can't stick an e-card on your mantle. So just leave me alone and go in, go look, go look up how much a real stamp costs. <laughs> Sheesh. So yes, husbands, I roll here. Okay, I do see a little bit of graduated. Hi, Shannon, thanks for sharing. So here we go again. I think, I don't know. Should I do all the trees in Pretty Peacock? I mean, not Pretty Peacock, Poppy Parade. I kind of want to, but I wonder if we could throw in a different, what other color does, um, goes well with Pretty Peacock and Poppy Parade? I have to think about that. I'm, oh, finish, you should. You should have said no and then left it at that. You know, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so not a liar though. I can't, you know, I hate, I can't lie. Even, you know, sometimes I've just gone uptown. <laughs> this is counseling 101. I've gone uptown and I just needed a muffin. I just, you know, you need some carbs and you need some sugar and I'm gonna cry if I don't get something. Right? Have you had that those moments? <sighs> or is it just me? Anyways, and so I go, and you know, I go and I eat it in the car on my way home before I get home. And you know, I, I can't even like, <laughs> I end up telling him my deepest, darkest secret. I had a muffin on the way home. <laughs> so I'm just, I can't lie. It's just too hard for me. Finishing up Christmas and Hanukkah cards. Little gifts for my grandson's teachers at the preschool too. Oh, oh, how nice that they get some fun um, handmade gifts too. Love it. Um, Sue is finishing up table favors for Thanksgiving. Nice. We celebrate on Saturday. Okay. I am F-U-E. I'm going to guess that's funny. <laughs> I hope. E-cards are so impersonal. Aren't they? Aren't they? Oh. I mean, my parents send them all the time. And bless their hearts, they think that's wonderful. But, you know, it's just not a handmade card. <laughs> Mary Merlot or Black... Ooh, Mary Merlot or Blackberry Bliss. Hmm. I love the real cards and mail. Friendship is worth more than postage. Right? Right, go Lois, I like that. I just figure it's less expensive than gifts for everyone, right? It is like a super inexpensive way to say hello, to say you're caring, 
If you had to go get flowers, good golly, you want to talk about expensive. Or candy or, you know, it's just a nice personal way to say hello. I wasn't lying. It is provocating. I never heard that word. I just figured, yes, there is nothing like receiving a card in the mail. I love it. Just, I, you just feel the love in that real card. Don't you? That's so, that's right. It just, it's, it's a must. Absolute must. It's a hug, hug in a paper, a paper hug. Hug in a paper. <laughs> There's my little brown. I have been house and pet sitting at my sister's, so I haven't been crafting. That's all right. <laughs> Maybe you need a little break. <laughs> all right, so I've got my little trees. I almost want to go over top with a Blackberry Bliss, because that sounds kind of fun. Should we try it? Let's, let's try it, let's do it, right? You win some, you lose some. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But eh, just for that. I have other scraps. Let's go for that. Let's try another on the scrap here. I like that idea. It is that royal, royal kind of look. Uh, oh yes, my Holly says my Christmas cards are like a gift, right? The amount of effort and yes, thought that goes into them, absolutely they're a gift. And so if your love language is, you know, gifts, man, you've won the jackpot when you get, um, it's kind of, you know, if you think about it, okay, let's think about this. The five love languages, who's read, who's read the books? I read the singles version, the married version. <laughs> Um, yes, um, love the book. If you've never read it, it makes a whole lot of sense. So one of them is physical touch. And that's, so, so you receive, you feel loved when something, when a certain kind of, I don't want to say this. You feel loved when people use your love language. And so they are what? Uh, physical touch. So just by, you know, somebody giving you a hug or somebody just putting their hand on your shoulder or, um, you know, just standing next to you, whatnot. Um, there's, um, oh, sheesh, what am I? Acts of service, so somebody does, does things for you, like I, I go and wash the car for Kevin or um, I shovel. Or I do the lawn or I wash the dishes and then there's um, what else we got? <laughs> quality time so you spend time one-on-one -on -one with someone and they um, no inter with no interruptions and so that makes them feel loved that you've made time for them um, what else am I missing that was three Mm. Oh, um, words of affirmation. So, you know, you, you compliment people or you say nice things about what they've done, what have you. And then what's the last one? Or did I say five already? I can't remember. Anyways, let's think about this. Okay, so a, ha a card is, oh, gifts. Gifts. So a card is a gift. It's going to do the, um, words of affirmation. So it's going to say nice things in it, right? About you. Um, it's an actual thing. So maybe it gives you a little bit of a, a physical touch. It's doing something for somebody, right? So, you know, a kind of an act of service, quality time. I don't know, I guess it could be in, in a sense that, you know, it's kind of a one-on-one -on -one moment that you have with the person, even though you're not with them. I don't know. 
maybe it's a whole love language, you know, revolution right here. It maybe meets all of those, those love languages. So, okay. Me and my tangent, I've missed a bunch of stuff. I sent you happy mail on Tuesday. Ooh, I'm excited. It actually ends up money, 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 because of course we need to spend lots of money on gorgeous craft supplies. Absolutely. Mary Merlot, if you're wanting a red. Yes, finished Christmas cards last night and I just need to address them and mail them off. 150 of them. Whew, you go girl. <laughs> you made 90 cards, Holly, awesome. Wowzers, I have to make Christmas cards for my friends and family. Yes, I have to do that part too. Hi, Martine. No worries. Sorry I'm late. I had a Stampin' Up! class tonight. Wow, you're getting your fill. Okay, here we go. Let's start assembling this little sucker. So as you can see, I used my dies to cut those little trees out. If you don't have the dies, no worries. It's easy enough to cut with scissors, I promise. So here we go with our little piece like so. And let's arrange our trees, but I kind of want to pop them up. So let's get out the, the dimensionals. Here comes my, my tower of paper. Of course, I'm going to use those little mini guys because the top of the tree is pretty tiny. So what kind of cards did you make tonight there, uh, Martine? Were they Christmas cards? What kind of set did you use? Or did you use multiple, multiple ones? Um, is that a Fitbit you're wearing or a different brand? Yes, it's a Fitbit. Do you do a uh, Fitbit there, Amy? I need inspiration to get moving my butt. <laughs> Tokens of affection, right? Yes. Hi, Sonia. Stan Paradis was my friend in creating 150 cards, right? How do you keep your plates flat like they are that? They are well loved, but still flat. Um, rotating. So every time, I don't know, the bottom plate has been the same for a long time. I just kept it the bottom plate. And the top plate, I rotate. Um, so when it starts kind of warping this way, you go this way. I've tried the oven thing putting it in tin foil and trying to melt it didn't go so well <laughs> let's just say that so I I don't know if you've had success with that great but that did not work for me um, I found too that I I was using the oh, what kind of plate is it the one with the black and it's kind of got some give to it and that was warping my plates really bad and so um, I, when I quit using that, this has been the one I've used for a long time. Where that, that other plate, I was going through them like once a month. They would crack. It was bad. So, um, whatever. I like it. Cute little trees. I like that color combo. It definitely works with the pretty peacock. Okay, so where is my little frame here that we'll add on the bottom? That says wishing you a yummy Christmas, but I don't think we should say yummy Christmas. Did I not put it in the bucket? <laughs> Let's see, it might be in another bucket. Yes, it is. Okay, what do we got here? Wishing you a what kind of Christmas? You can say sweetest Christmas. Yummy Christmas, or there's happy Christmas. I think happy is over here. Yeah. Okay. Let's go wishing you a happy Christmas. And let's go with our pretty peacock again. I think I did a song you shared. Thank you. You lost your Fitbit, but we want to replace it. Just not sure what model to get. I'm really liking this one. It's still the Charge 2. I had gone through, oh my god, no, before the, just the plane charge, I think it was, or the model before that, I had gone through, I don't know how many of them, like four, I kept rating the company, and I don't, I don't know um, why, but it was, if it just didn't go with my skin, 
or and so it would quit or what was up with that but it uh, wasn't a good fit for me so this one charge 2 has been great um, it ha is waterproof so I think that helps because I'm kind of a Kevin always reminds me of this but kind of a splashy hand washer <laughs> he calls me a duck in the you know pond when I wash my hands and so he's a little anal with the spots on the tap so I hear about it daily anyways don't do it on purpose I really don't I forget it's like not a priority to me you know but um, anywho where was I going with that oh yes Fitbit so this one has lasted for quite a while and I love that I mean you could go online on straps co I think and get all sorts of fun um, uh, straps for quite not very much so all right look at that cute let's pop that sucker up I feel like this card is taking me forever <laughs> and it was supposed to be one of the simple ones I'm talking too much there we go wishing you a happy Christmas happy 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 now let's go with our ooh, I think I still have some I have to go into my stash yes I will we'll just borrow some of these clear and frosted epoxy droplets I think they're called and I'm just going to color them up with the Blackberry list just to kind of tie that in a little bit. I'm just going to use the paintbrush in on my blends. Take your pick tool. Uh, da, da. We made cards with the Nature's Beauty stamp set. Oh, I'd love to see them. I need some in inspiration for that set. I'm loving the trees. Awesome. Like in the Blackberry Bliss. Yeah. This is going to be an adorable card. Oh, thank you. I know, it's pretty simple. Oh, goodness, what's happening here? I see the glue to the dot is way over there. And the dot... Let's try to fix this here. The glue is not under the dot, is what I'm trying to say. That'll help tie in. Tie in that Blackberry Bliss. I was going to use rhinestones, but these work just as well all right and the inside i will decorate like oh let's just wink of stella come on wink of stella for sure Ooh, yeah love it i need some sparkle right let's add it to that snow sometimes you just got to make it look pretty <laughs> sometimes it's not so pretty we got a lot of snow last night so poor Bud, he just hates the cold and hates the snow. So before we went on tonight, we went over to the other parking garage and kind of did a big big walk around on the inside of the, the place. So, hi Carla. Thank you. Thanks Karma. All right, so which is your favorite? Gingerbread or tree? Gingerbread or tree, they're very different, aren't they? But they both do the trick, gingerbread or tree. I'd love to hear your opinion. So while I get that put away and cleaned up a little bit, you get voting. I'm curious. Thank you, Lisa. Now I should probably put this stamp back or I'm going to be looking for it. Tree, tree, can't decide. Tree, gingerbread, trees, gingerbread, trees. Neat. I taught. I totally thought everyone would go for the gingerbread. So awesome. You favor the trees too. I'm a sucker for gingerbread. Me too. It was. It's yes. It was my favorite. All right. Next card. 
Now I had these in order. Is the official one. I'm gonna use some more Stampin' Blends, of course. If you don't have Stampin' Blends, get out your um, watercolor pencils or your pencil crayons. They all work. All right, here is the little card with, remember that gingerbread house? Well, in the gingerbread house is the little gingerbread man. I'm, I'm kind of surprised they didn't have a little gingerbread man by itself, but they don't. I uh, love both, but the trees are also always my favorite. The liquid snow stuff would be, yes. I never did buy that, but yes, it would be very cool, Sandy, to put that on your trees. Trees for you. Where do I get the case for my stamp cleaner? Uh, I, was, I was supposed to send you one. Just a minute. There were, I knew there was somebody who wanted, uh, who had bought, and I couldn't remember who, because my brain's like, you know, doesn't work so well. Barbara, stamp case. If you buy a chamois from me, I am going to send you a stamp case for free, just because you need something to hold it, right? All right, thanks, Sue. So here's our little gingerbread. Now, of course, we're gonna change them up because, you know, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Oh, let's leave this guy here so you can see the comparison along the way and kind of get a feel for how this is going to work. So here's my insert. I'm just going to get rid of that right now and I will do that part later. All right. I thought, okay, let's get that, use that paper from the Gather Together stamp set or designer series paper, pardon me. And you know, it kind of the Cajun craze in it kind of brings out the gingerbready feel, right? You need to get the puff paint. It's all, I know, I know, I know. I do. <sighs> another thing, another thing. So, yes. All right, so let's glue that card base down. Then I'm going to stamp, yummy, 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 yummy all over the place, but I think I'm gonna do that in, how about soft suede? So this one I used crumb cake, real red. Um, this one of course I used soft suede as the card base. Use the designer series paper. But let's get out our soft suede ink and stamp yummy all over, randomly. Mmm, gingerbread. I suppose I can't have any this year. I wonder if Dee has a, a recipe for gingerbread there, um, Shannon. A keto one. And if you say it's made from pork rinds, I'm not having it. <laughs> oh, I can't get used to those things. My Kevin can eat them, but I just, they're not for me. They're supposed to be a good keto snack because all they are are fat and fat <laughs> but I just whoa, can't do it all right so this was with a large stitched rectangle framelit no worries Barbara I'm sorry I'm sorry about that all right so here is this piece let's glue that down right in the center and instead of this real red piece, I thought, okay, let's get out some fancy gold, some shimmer or gold shimmer paper, I believe. Glimmer paper, pardon me, is what that is. And I think it's a two by two piece right there. So let's add that on. I had to get this for our special um, Sip Sip Hooray class. We're using this fancy paper. So you are joining in in the class you're going to be getting some of that in the mail very soon so exciting all right and then for my little piece off to the side i thought okay let's tie in that cajun craze and uh use that so i'm going to get out my memento black and now where did i put my yep yeah, wishing you the sweetest christmas so let's go wishing you in memento and i put it kind of close to the top like so there's something on the G I can see now sweetest obviously in another bucket not that one not that bucket 
Well, is it still in the case? I don't think so. Well, let's just go with an oldie. Wishing you a happy Christmas. Nah, you need sweetest. yummy. I've made a decision. <laughs> I really do not like pork rinds either. Even the smell makes me nauseous. They smell like fish. They taste like sh fish or something. I just, oh, it's right here. Oh my God. And I'm going to stamp sweetest in Cajun craze. I'm hoping it's going to be dark enough. Cajun craze on Cajun craze. Let's think about this. I'm going to try cutting this sucker out. So talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Fussy cut. Bubble cut. you could have tried um, the soft suede that might have worked anyone going away for Christmas we are going to a Soyuz my parents actually come uh, here on Friday on their way from Manitoba to go to a Soyuz so they're gonna stop here for a few days which is gonna be great and I uh, hope they have nice weather on the on the way. It's pretty crummy today when I went for my doctor's appointment, my meet and greet, and um, to get some blood work done, just to see how all the levels are doing since I've been on the diet. Keep on trying to keep that blood sugar down. I don't have to go become diabetic, so that and check the cholesterol since I'm doing the keto. Should be good since I'm not eating pork rinds. <laughs> That's what I tell myself, right? I've never had them. I Oh, don't, don't try. <laughs> Horrid. Horrid things. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm glad I did this. Wishing you a sweetest Christmas. Cute tootsie. All right. Let's pop this sucker up just to make it uh, a little more pizzazzy. Ooh, am I out of dimensionals? Yes, I am. So let's see here. You guys use a lot of the mini ones. I definitely prefer the bigger, that's for sure. The regulars. Does the puff paint need a heat gun? Yes. You need the heat tool. I remember back in the day we used to heat it on the stove. <laughs> Anyone else did that? You love pork rinds! Get out, Catherine! We, when we were in Edmonton, we went to Sweet Convenience, and it's a kind of a neat store that they get a lot of stuff in from the U.S., and so they had all sorts of flavors of pork rinds, so I thought, okay, this is my chance. Maybe, you know, maybe a flavor will help mask that fishy, fishy taste. So I had um, salt and vinegar. I don't think so. <laughs> Anyways. Well, that's cool that you do, because that's... You, that's a state like you miss chips <laughs> I, I'm not really a big chip person but oh man I suppose when you can't have them then you crave them right okay so here was a little piece from the um, layering squares and so I'm just gonna put a dimensional a little snail on one side because parsh it's partially popped up and partially not like so. Okay, let's stamp our little gingerbread dude. Oh, I suppose I put this away. Yes, I did. Ooh, don't lose that. We finally get to use my, I think it's the E-block. 
don't often use this one, or I don't. It was kind of nice to get that out of the, out of the, whatever, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Get it out and use it. With hot sauce is best. See, he likes hot sauce too. I can't do hot sauce anymore. I used to be able to do spicy things. I used to have nachos and jalapenos and all, you know, I can't now, I don't know. My mouth just, my tongue burns and I don't know. You think Mark, <laughs> you think they smell too? Nothing could mask the taste. <laughs> I, you know, I, I had high hopes, but it just didn't work for me. So, Catherine, you are so lucky. Are you sure Kevin isn't messing with you? He is dehydrating sarge beans and passing them off with pork rinds. Well, I don't know. <laughs> there are those, those kind of uh, uh, snacks out there, too, I suppose, yes. And then, where was he? Oh, there was, there's this um, meat bakery in Calgary, and it's a, a diabetic-friendly bakery. And so, of course, they have tons of meat keto things. And so he actually found, you know, microwave popcorn? So it comes in a little bag, and, and uh, you put it in the microwave and pop it. Well, sh sure enough, they have pork rinds like that. The pork rinds come in these little bags, like the microwave popcorn, and you stick them in the microwave. And bada bing, bada boom, you are now have pork rinds. <laughs> we haven't used them yet. I can't imagine the smell that'll come off them. I don't know. Have you? Do you? Have you tried those, Catherine? How can anyone si survive without chips? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather have cake and cookies. Let me tell you that. How about some dried seaweed? I tried those too. I even tried the ones with the at Costco that. Um, they have on them oh goodness I can't remember but they you know to, they're again to mask the seaweediness I don't like um, oh, man I'm not getting my words today uh, sushi I don't like sushi because of the texture I think I really have a, a texture thing with with my mouth I'm a little sensitive I guess my senses are sensitive <laughs> Especially my sense of smell. Oh, something like, okay, here's what happened tonight. Well, it was from yesterday, but we made pork chops with mushroom soup, but of course we can't add flour to make the, you know, sauce a little bit more thick, right? So we used the xanthan gum, I guess that's how you say it. And um, of course I didn't add it right, so if there were, it, Everything just tasted slimy. So I, I, I was picking through the food today and I'm just like, it's like you're eating, there's big globs of goo. So I, yeah, and I thought, well, okay, well, we both didn't like it. So we thought, okay, well, let's just, um, you know, rinse off the pork chops and we'll just eat the pork chops. Well, I <laughs> went to rinse them and he's like, he starts picking at the pork chop and this goo is coated on the pork chop. And so I had to lay down. I was getting faint. I, I just can't do things like that. Oh, so even now. Oh. Yuck. Now, where are my little dimensionals when I need them? I think I used them up. Well, let's just... Your whole family even loves them. Oh my goodness. Chips are your weakness, hey? Don't like anything too salty. Yeah, not a huge salt fan either, but I never add flour to my mushroom soup with pork chops. No, okay. Or, or cornstarch, you know, just to make the sauce a little thicker. Apparently we shouldn't have. <laughs> I'm hilarious, oh dear. This is why I don't cook. I, oh, it is not my gift. Kevin is so good at it, but you know, it's like pulling teeth. Um, okay, 
Now I add some little rhinestones and some little, um, you wouldn't like chia seeds much either then. Um, yeah, I like chia seeds. Don't ask me to eat that chia seed jam. <laughs> that's, that's not for me either. <laughs> Let's make ourselves a bow and get off this subject. Ugh, it was just horrid. Okay, here we go, bow. So I'm just doubling up the, no, that's not gonna be long enough. Doubling up the thread here and tie myself a bow. Like so. Lisa must be busy getting ready for her big Thanksgiving tomorrow. She's having people over. Sounds like it's gonna be a nice time. All right, there we go. Let's add a glue dot. Sounds horrible. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. And I think we should add some rhinestones, but I don't have any with me. Hang on. Or let's see. What, let's no. Let's use these. Only last until the end of November. These gold. What are they called? Gold enamel dots. So many dots. I can't keep them all straight. No. Let's. Where's my take your pick too? Yeah, that's good. Matches with that paper. Brings out the happy. Let's give her a big one. One there. Cute. All right. Doesn't that like just bring out the gingerbready, that uh, Cajun craze? I like it. Stella. <gasps> yes, Stella. Thank you, Stella. Especially the little, the little white strips. Ah, let's go on the buttons too. <laughs> okay, good, good. Thank you for the reminder. All right, bling him up, right? Okay, so which is your favorite? One looks awfully dull next to the other. <laughs> so let's go white or brown. White, brown, which one's your favorite? I thought those gold glimmer dots are available while supplies last. Probably, I don't know. I actually don't know about that. thought they were until um, that sweet was over which is because it went with that Christmas time is here sweet right which also reminds me my bracelet the nice Stampin up bracelet is only available until I assume only available until the end of the month this also so if you like the bracelet as much as I do I love it Finally, something that could fit my big arm. I love how that it kind of closes and opens to fit everybody. So that's that's always awesome. It's lots of browns, yes. Oh, we got a white. Oh, we got some whites. All right. Okay. To each their own. It's very different, right? But you know, you can still give that away for Christmas. I think it's pretty cute. All right. Good, good. Go on, more whites. Good. Okay, next one. On to this one. We're going to use our um, watercolor pencil crayons for this one. So on this one, I used crumb cake, and um, I white embossed onto the crumb cake, and I used the stamp and blends to color things in. I don't know if you can see the little wink of Stella. A little little down here but I added in some of that and of course there's those ornate stitch dies again I think you're mixing up sweets this one is while supplies last okay pardon me yep go for it if you let's go with that oh Holly says white too oh my goodness lots of whites it's a little more traditional Christmassy right um, this is that neat oh dear I don't remember the name of it the red ribbon ruched ribbon 
and it's in real red, but it's kind of fun. But of course we're gonna switch this up to make it a little more, um, to use up some of our paper from the um, Gather Together Suite. So I've got myself a cherry cobbler base. I've got my Gather Together paper, the wood grain, love it. And I'm gonna use Early Espresso because when you use your pencil, uh, watercolor pencil crayons, it kind, they kind of pop when you add color to darker colors. Also, you can do this on crumb cake and it, it pops as well, but let's see how this goes. So I did white emboss already ahead of time because I figured let's, you know, I got a color and that's gonna take a long time and people get bored, and, you know. Okay, so let's start off with um, some white snow on top on the roof. So see how that comes out? It's kind of neat. I'm not sure if any pencil crowns work like this or not. I don't know. Or if it's just the watercolor ones that are a little more intense. I'm not sure. Okay, this is also snow, so let's add that to be some white and snow down here, of course. It's just kind of a neat, subtle way to add some color. Okay, um, I'm not sure about those yet. Let's go grab some red. This one is the real red. So let's get out some and add it to our candy cane. Can you see that from far away? How that works? Well, Mr. Nate, oh, you need a walk. Oh, sidewalks are slippery. Oh, yes, Sandy, stay safe out there. That is not fun. Okay, and let's give some of these a little peppermint, peppermint some red. It's embossed it's kind of easier to color too because your pencil crayon kind of bumps up against the outside and tends to stay in the lines as I go outside the line and I let's do his buttons red the insides the little bits and of course a gumdrop needs to be red let's do a gumdrop on each side I should have done snow there, so let's go back and get our white. Like so. Itchy nose. And let's see, we need some green. Get this wreath green. It doesn't show up so well. It's there. Probably needs a sharpen too. That would help. And of course the bow, probably be red. Mm. Let's go in with some yellow. I don't know if it'll show there. I should have done yellow on, oh, let's do yellow in the windows. Look like there's light streaming through. I would have never thought to color in dark paper. I love that look. I know, right? It's just something a little different. Give it a try. Um, I wonder if I should, what color should we do those spindles? Uh, let's go in with yellow. Now, should I make the door red? got to see this. I wonder what the early espresso on early espresso would look like. Nothing. <laughs> Should I do red door? I don't want to 
kind of go outside of the... Hmm. And I'll come back in with the white here. What should we do here? Well, let's continue. Maybe I'll give it some texture. Maybe I'll go around those windows with green. I have no idea where my pencil sharpener is. And this guy. Okay, and I'm gonna get out my Rink of Stella. Let's swoosh that around a little. So wherever there's snow, it's just got to be sparkly. And I kind of, you know, the Wink of Stella works like a blender pen, so don't be surprised if your ink kind of moves around a little. Oh yeah, we need to color in that um, other little um, juju candy. Oh, let's go down the sides here. on there make those little red rhinestones that'd be cute oh my goodness it's already an hour <gasps> go 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 oh yes i'm just going to color in those little what was it there last color the green okay i think it's done let's go with that now instead of the old this ribbon i thought you know what there's the cherry cobbler ribbon that will ma match with the cherry cobbler card base I think, uh, am I going to do two layers of it or just one? If I was, a, there it is, an ornate shape. Let's just have a look at this. I'm going to do two layers. Snip, snip. Meaning. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but the this thread has a more red side and a more white side, and I'll show you what I mean. So this is the more red side, but look at this one. See, there's the more white side. Can you see that? Oh, where did it go here? Hi, Angie. You forget about your wig of Stella. Really? Oh. I often refill my wink of stuff. How do you refill it? Anybody can refill that. Oh, those barky pants. Interesting. That's intriguing. If you go over to the coloring with the blender pen, would the color stand out more? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Say, let's go on this door. I don't think so. Okay, let's try something a little less. Maybe. Possibly. I think it, maybe it goes outside the lines a little more and you can see it. You take out the inside and put in rubbing alcohol. 
Really? Who knew? Wow, well that's interesting. Okay, so here's my two strips. Now I want to get out the little saying here. So let's pick Tis the Season, which is over here. Early Espresso. Is the season, and I did the sweetest season, which is this one, which I see I need to clean. And let's go with our cherry cobbler. There's always lots of stuff left inside. Really, the, uh, the, like the sparkle bits. I know you don't, sure don't have to squeeze it very often. It tends to last for a long time. That is pretty cool. All right, tis the sweetest season. And so I think we need some dimensionals. Let's pop this up. guys very late today I try to I've been very good at trying to get you know to an hour and that's it because good grief you people have things to do today is oh, ah did you see the my little smudge darn it well I think it's gonna need a <laughs> treatment did a card what was it of and I sprinkled red and oh my god it looked like blood splatter <laughs> I was, I'm like oh note to self don't use red okay and let's add some some you know the yellow I think the gold dots would look nice with the yellow maybe we can we can hide that little piece with the gold or accentuate it. <laughs> All right, let's just keep on going here. Come on. Too cute. Oh, it needs coming up over here. There. All right, tis the sweetest season. How cute. Okay, next, let's pop this whole thing up on with dimensionals. Card can't say so there you go in the middle. Oh holy. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, see, look, look. My dimensional bags are sticking to the glue on my hand from that multi purpose glue. <laughs> All right, let's stick that to that wood grain layer, and let's, ooh, a reminder of Thanksgiving on the back. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that looks fun. There, what do you think? Which do you like better, the red or the brown? They're very different, but kind of similar, right? red or the brown hmm. and I'm gonna clean this stamp off we're almost at the end where I can show you my little little trick I'm so excited to show it okay let's just see let's get some of this stuff out of the way Feel like I'm getting claustrophobic. Stuff's piling up. I thought we might.
might see some Tahoe. Nope. Red, both plaid, brown, red, both brown, both love them. Red, brown, brown. All right, I like the, I like the red, surprisingly. It's very busy though, I'm shocked. I'm shocked I like it. I'm not only in all the comments though. Okay, last card, moving right along. Has anybody done layered stamping triple layer stamping so this is what i did with this one i used the old olive and i showcased those little um holly leaves that come in the set so i'm wishing you a happy christmas had that red there and so as you can see the little pattern is kind of continues right between the layers which is a neat technique so we're gonna do that tonight and so what I'm gonna use is the old olive card base, but here are all my layers here. I'm using, of course, this paper from, whew, that's a tight layer, from the Gather Together. So I, at on stage, we actually stamped on some designer series paper and I absolutely loved it. And so I thought, oh, let's try that with this paper. So we're gonna, we're gonna give this a go and see how it works. But okay, so I have a layer, then I have a smaller layer, and I will put all these dimensions on my um, blog for tomorrow, okay? Because I don't remember what they are right now and I'm not gonna measure. So just a wee little piece of snail, wee little piece of glue just to hold it in place while you do some stamping. And then there again, for this top layer, the third layer, okay, just on the inside there. Okay, so now I've got my little holly, and I think I'm gonna stamp with memento. I don't know, I, I will give it a whirl. Okay, so here we go. Stamp randomly over top of all three layers. Now sometimes it might, uh, you might have a little gap. Totally okay, because I will show you how we fix that later on. See, here's a little gap right here. Don't worry about it. facing down let's go a little opposite here <laughs> let's switch it up oh and there I go back to <laughs> let's switch it up let's go some down this way Now while I have the black out, I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper and actually stamp three of these little holly leaves with memento, like so. And let's color them up. So I'm going to use the old olive stamp and blends. So let's go with the dark first over top of the veins. And then come in with the light to smoosh it around, to blend it. I suppose blend would be a better word since they're called Stampin' Blends. Squeak, squeak. Okay, let's go again here. You don't want to leave that dark too long, otherwise it kind of sets. And then it won't um, blend as well, I suppose. That's why I'm not doing them all at the same time. We're going back with the light. Whoopsie, kind of coloring outside the lines. Hold on. Handmade on Hallmark. You love triple layer stamping. Stamping, yeah. I tried and mine was a big mess. Did you? No way. Oh, were your layers thick enough, I wonder? 
because sometimes if they're not wide enough, sometimes they don't cover your oopses. Or is that what you're talking about? Maybe you were talking about, maybe you were talking about stamping on designer series paper. I don't know. Sorry. All right. Now instead of the traditional red, I'm gonna go with flirty flamingo. Let's see. What do you think? Christmas colors nowadays are so vast and different, right? Now I'm just doing what I said not to do. Just doing them all, all the darks. And coming in with the lights. Okay, we need Wink of Stella. Let's make those berries pop. Oh yeah, gorgeous. So cute. They make those berries sing, don't they? Okay, so now we have the little die. Let's find this. I think it's actually the little reindeer that was in that cuckoo clock set. So it's the little reindeer, but they changed that into a holly leaf. Isn't that cute? Okay. Up we go with this. Oh look, another dimensional back. They were following me outside into the hallway. Lisa, I would use some little um, tape, washi or her little sticky note tape and make sure that stays in place. I just got that. There's one. Okay, and let's go with this one. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I always wonder what kind of big shot they're going to come out. Okay. Big shot they're going to come out with. Is it going to be electric? That would be awesome if it was. Who knows? Just an FYI because I don't think she's on. Lisa's birthday, I found out the other day, is on December 16th. So flood her mailbox with beautiful birthday cards. So December not, December 16th, it's coming up. So make sure you show her how much you love her. Okay, so we are ready to get this going. Is anyone going Black Friday shopping? Kevin has been ogling over every every site. The, the Red Thursday at Canadian Tire and blah, blah, blah. Are you? Do you have any big purchases? I just noticed I lost my top fan status. Oh, oh my goodness. Sorry, Kathy. I don't think I had anything to do with that. Yikes. Okay, so this I decided to do opposite. So normally you do white and then the color. This, my, my layer is going to be the white this time. So let's see how that goes. My uh, Kevin desperately wants a Sentiva, which is a water filter. He's been using the um, countertop version, or not countertop, um, the fridge version for a long time and he just wants to get one that goes on top of our water cooler. Now I see, okay, so you're going to match that those up. See how the pattern continues. Okay. And he, he wants the water cooler one. Now I've grown up with um, distilled water all my life. So any other water just, there again, has the smell. And I just can't, ooh, I can't do it. So, of course, he thinks I'll just love it and it'll be all okay. I'll, you know, I'll switch over, but I can't. 
can't do it. So anyways, his Black Friday, he wants to get that because it's, I think, 30% off. Okay, see how the pattern continues? Cute. I like it. Okay. Oh, and I see a wrapped ribbon around here. Ah, hang on. Is it going to come off? Yes. I have to add my fancy ribbon. So instead of doing a label, I thought, okay, let's use this Merry Christmas ribbon. What do you think? Yellow, you want down, low, I think up high. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure I have a Merry Christmas that's a focal point, so you're not getting, you know, mass Mary. And let's, well, we should have blue. Tuck this around. Um, should we pop up this layer? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, thanks for sharing Elisa's birthday. Yes, me too. Is it okay to send a send Lisa a birthday card too? Oh yeah, that's it's Lisa's birthday, not mine. Is that what, is that what you mean? Uh, and I just finished said I was going to pop it up, and then I add more glue. Oh my goodness. Scatter brain. Yeah, I'm just sharing so that she gets lots of birthday cards. Thanks, Karma. Have you done one of these? Triple layer stamping, it's called. So, of course, you can do that with any kind of stamp. everything up there I like it it's popped up a little bit on that layer and let's add our little holly leaves and I think we should pop them up okay a big dimensional fits in the berry portion thank goodness now I thought I had three right here And I think I'm going to use a little one for the antlers. Oh, <laughs> don't sit behind. Not yet. Thank you, Angie. I'm having lots of fun. Very different from the originals, hey? One here. And hmm. Hmm. So we could go over top. How did I do it over here? Oh, I tucked it underneath somehow. Okay, we'll go like that. There we go. Okay. Pretty, I like these colors. I really like it. And I didn't know if the black would be too dark, but I think it goes, it's going good. Going well. Let's glue this to our old olive card base. Sorry, I need it. I'm just going to leave that there for you to see the original. So it's just a tiny, tiny layer of old olive just to kind of tie the berries in. So which version do you like better? That white, those little white dots almost make it look like snow, hey? Snow is falling. Neat. No worries, Megan. That's, uh, we're done here anyway, almost. Thank you. Okay, so our final, woo, woo, here we go to make this fun. 
there is this shimmer paint. It's called First Frost. I talked about it at the beginning. If you get out your stamp and spritzer, you put in a little bit into here and add water. Now that many of you have done this already, right? But to take it another level, Megan, you do this, and this is why I'm kind of doing this. These cards are very gingerbready and they remind me of peppermint. Mint, peppermint. Oh, you guys like the brown? Oh, both, both gray, brown, brown. Yeah. Okay, so I added, since we're a young living family, a drop of peppermint oil. Okay, so we're just going to miss this. It's going to be shimmery. It's going to make the card shimmery and it's also going to make the card smell like peppermint. So you open it up. <sighs> Christmas <laughs> okay so I'm going for I'm going to test it first Actually, I should test it into the garbage because at my last house I did this and you should have seen the floor it was very nice and, and sparkly <laughs> okay so it's not going to come out in blobs there we go so it's a little blobby but it will dry Oh, my lantern, I sprayed totally everywhere on this one. <laughs> oh, okay, first frost, here we go. Just a little something. Oh, it smells delicious. Just a little touch. Oh, I have got stuff everywhere. I should probably turn off my fan. <laughs> is it brown or gray? It is, I think it's um, gray granite. To be honest. Oh my lens, I've got it on my camera or on my <laughs> can't tell the oven. My hand is gonna be sparkly. I'm running out of room. <laughs> You, any of you use peppermint on your on your under your tongue yeah you need smell of vision all right um, but if you had a headache you won't now peppermint really works great for headaches am I just putting a drop under your tongue okay last one everything so shiny and sparkly including my hand and everything around me <laughs> So there we go. We've got some shimmer and sparkle and whatnot. Oh, my hand is disastrous. I don't know if you can. Oh, wrong this way. Nope. Can't really see it. But, anyways, gotta run. Have a busy day tomorrow. Yes. Yes. And I've gone way too long. So thank you, everybody, for crafting along with me tonight. I had a lot of fun. It has been a great time for me. And thanks for all those who shared and commented today. It was so much fun chit-chatting with you. And um, if you need any of these products, I would love to help you out. If you don't have a demonstrator here in Canada, I would love to help you. Um, as a lot of you have probably seen, I'm a little over $100 away from reaching the next sales level. So if you need anything, big, small, black and white color, I would love it if uh, I could make that sales goal and that that would have been the highest I have ever had. So help me out if you can. Um, need any snail, envelopes, dimensionals, uh, let's get you stocked up. So all right everybody, have a wonderful evening and I will see you on Monday during the Creative Escape. Bye everyone.